Dean on the Street, host of the Dean Blackman Show. Very excited today. I'm on the set at Blydenburg State Park here in Smithtown, Long Island, New York. My friends Lauren Levine, Jim R. Curry of Identity Feature Films, they're shooting still their documentary I've been covering, Garden of Thorns. And uh, today I'm here right on the set with one of the leading superstars uh, of this project, uh, Addison Eisenberg. <laughs> Addison, it's so great to have you on Dean <laughs> on the Street, the Dean Blackman show. Really great. This young lady uh, started uh, acting at four years old. She's soon to be 11 years old. Go to her IMDB page. It's unbelievable. I mean, how many how many films and projects have you done? Like 20 or 30? Um, probably more than that. Probably more than that. I mean, you've got so much. Don't be shy. I mean, go to her IMD page, Addison Eisenberg. It's it's remarkable how much she's done in her past since four years old, and and what's still in in in. in project right now that, sh that hasn't been completed but we're I'm very excited Jim R. Curry told me I've got to come up here and meet you okay it's been unbelievable okay uh, listen four years old becoming becoming an actress when did you know you wanted to be an actress and how did it all come about well I kind of just started by seeing kids on TV I kind of wanted to do that I asked my mom how do you be on TV and my mom was like well, you do this and this, and I'm like, oh, that sounds cool. And then my mom got me a manager, and I got on my first audition. Wow. And <laughs> and what was that first, what was the first pro big project that you had at a young age? Well, I knew my mom dressed me up in a princess outfit, and she counted to three, and I kind of screamed three, and then when he said to be, like, mad, I, counted, I said three again. So it was kind of really funny, and it was good, and then my mom was like, wow, that was good. And so I kept going and going, and then I got my first role, wow. and everything kind of went so I gotta ask you, what do you, what do your friends and family think of all this young, early success, soon to be 11 years old? What is everybody? What's it like with your relationship with your family and friends? Well, some of my friends think it's cool, cause like I'm always missing school, so my friends think that's awesome. But I'm like, eh. And then my family, they're like, my brothers. When I was little, my brothers they didn't want to do acting, and then when I got my first paycheck, they wanted to do acting, and my mom was like, nope. Wow! So you got your first paycheck at what age? What age? Four or five. Four or five. Get your first. Wow! How many at four or five get your first paycheck? I mean, usually, what did you get a cell phone at what age? What age did you get a cell phone? Nine. Nine. Yeah. You're... Okay. Listen, I hear, I hear you're working on a project right now with one of my favorite actors currently right now, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Is that is that true? Yeah, I'm wow. going on a film called The Dark Tower. Tell everybody about uh, the project you're working on with Matthew McConaughey. It used to be a book series, and now Matthew McConaughey is playing the main star. And my scene is when he first comes into modern day Manhattan, and I'm like happy playing with my mom, and then he like takes my soul, and then I get like really frustrated and mad. Wow. I'm like, I'm like soulless. Wow. Do you know how many of my fans and listeners, how many women are going to be jealous that you're in a film project with Matthew McConaughey? That's unbelievable. Listen, you're with dear friends of mine on this project. Dear friends, producers, directors, identity features, uh, Lauren Levine, Jim R. Curry, just unbelievable people, okay? Why don't you tell everybody, I know I've met the other leading uh, actor in the film, Joshua Piquel. Why don't you just share um, uh, a little bit more about uh, this project that you're involved with, the role you're playing, if you could just share that with everybody. Well, I play Natalie in the film, and I help Roger when I don't really want to because my dad, who is a farm worker, doesn't want me to like give other people the food that we've saved because if anybody finds out, he will get in trouble and he could like, get killed by the Nazis. So. It's very hard, but it's my first crush, and it's his first crush, so it's kind of really hard to not to say no. Wow. Well, listen, this is a, an amazing project, one that, uh, as I told Joshua Piquel and I've told Jim Arcori and Lauren Levine, this project's really personal to my heart and love, and uh, I couldn't wait to... Uh, I couldn't wait to meet you, you know that? <laughs> you're, you're a really special young lady. Thank you. And I want you to make me a promise, one promise. When you finally make it that first time to the Oscars, will you remember <laughs> Dean on the street and, and, and invite me to come along? Yes. Okay? Well, listen, I want to wish you much success 
You're terrific. Best of health. And uh, you've got such a great future ahead of you. I can't wait to uh, see more filming today of you on this project. And I personally want to thank you very much for being on Dean on the Street of the Dean Blackman Show. Okay? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. From all of us at Dean on the Street, the Dean Blackman Show, Addison Eisenberg. <laughs> Soon to be 11, superstar already, unbelievable star in the future. Don't miss her. Look at her IMD page. She's special. She's a great young lady. Take care now. Bye-bye.